Hey guys, it's El Super Sonic Q here, and tonight we're going to Super Scuffed Shadow the Hedgehog. So, as always, I encourage you guys to draw along with me. I know it's not Friday, but I thought I'd give you guys a video a little bit early, and just as a disclaimer, I draw these all myself. I just scan them and print them off on a larger sheet of paper so you can see what I'm doing, and so I don't end up wasting 20 sheets of paper in case I mess up. So with that, let's start. Alright, I always start with head as I think would be most logical, but in terms of the head. His Shadow's overall head shape is similar to that of Sonic, or should I say Super Sonic. But that kind of lies in the spikes, so we'll get into that a little bit later. First up, we'll start with the ears. So, with the ears, first, pretty much, I don't know what you'd call that, kind of the start of a triangle without the bottom, I guess. Uh, pretty, pretty standard shape, I would say. Next, obviously, we need to put the little inside triangle inside the larger one so kind of sloping that off to an angle because shadows angled here so we don't want another huge triangle right in the middle there so off to the side kinda of like that next I would go on to the spikes so as I said kinda of like going along with a supersonic type thing we need to curve them around and I guess you can use your best judgment as to like where to stop how far to go uh, depending upon you know kind of the size and you know position of Shadow's head but after a decent amount of length curve it down almost like a moon kinda so then we end right there because we have to start the another the second ear which again starts with a triangle like that however this time we actually do have to do another triangle straight on because this ear would be looking straight on or you would be seeing it as straight on. So that's two ears in the top spike. Next, how we went from this ear to that spike, we're going to go from this ear to that spike. So these ones, rather than going up first, they kind of slope down first, like supersonic. So that. And then rather than kind of curving it, I, I've seen various artworks of Shadow. I mean, like, you know kind of how necessarily to draw the spikes but for me typically I kind of like to make a little I don't know not make it completely curved but make it a little like down then kind of spike it you know what I'm saying to get that kind of you know that little point right there that's just typically what I do and then you do the same thing a little bit lower and I would say go no farther than um, this point of the ear so we got the spike so far and we're starting to lead into the face. I think it would be best to do the outline, the rest of the outline of the head before we go into the details of the face and the red part of the spikes. So for this, we have to kind of bring it around like that. And this is going to go a little bit farther than where we're going to start the spike. We're going to start the spike a little bit before that. And then again, how I like to kind of make that point go up like that. So now we got the spikes and the outline of the head and the ears. So I would always go to the muzzle next because I think that's kind of, I would work from the bottom up rather than the top to the bottom. So uh, we'll go with the muzzle. We kind of ran over, you know, we, we extended it farther into the head for a reason because that's kind of our starting point for the muzzle. So it has, you go over, it has that curved shape to it, and then it just naturally flows into the bottom of the, of the head. So, we got that. Next, we're going to do the nose, which in this case, his nose is pointed down. I think it just makes more sense because he's kind of looking down to, to begin with. So, we'll just do that, color it in. There's the nose, little frown, and next is the eyes can't really do the red spikes until we get the eyes done so um, the best way to do this I guess would be kind of to watch so what I typically do for shadow is line line and then kind of just using my best judgment depending on how high up this is and how far down you know this top spike is gonna end up being kind of give shadow that you know scowl type look um, that's just how 
I drew it for this one and how I often draw shadow. I know that, you know, you could say that it's a lot higher up and it, you know, slopes down a lot more, but that's just me. So, there's that. Make the eyes like so, and I'm kind of just going to leave them like that. I think they look pretty cool like that. So, those are Shadow's eyes. Now we can do the red streaks, I guess, on his spikes. Um, this is pretty easy for the most part because it's kind of like what we already did. We're just going over the same section. This one would, you know, start at that point in the ear and just naturally go up. Same thing with this one. And it's kind of easy too because even if you're not really great with the depth and stuff, just because of how we set up the head to begin with, they kind of all fall in place, like I said. Uh, these ones, I guess, are a little more challenging than the bottom ones, but you could easily just use your best judgment and kind of, you know, curve them around as necessary, like that. And then the top one here, we made sure we left space from where this midpoint of the eyes is, and pretty much um, just extend it down like that. And that's essentially the head of shadow. So we'll move on to the body now. And Shadow has that fur on his chest. So we're going to, I, I guess also in terms of this picture, how I drew it, um, Shadow pretty much, I don't know, his chest is kind of, it, it's kind of outward a little, a little bit more. So I drew like a little, you know, curve line and then kind of three like that. It just gives that appearance of the, the whole depth thing I was talking about. So, that's the fur on his chest, which kind of more like detailing rather than the outline of the, bo of the body first, but um, that's cool. So, there's that. Now we'll do the arms, which start, I would say, you know, right here where the muzzle is, right where that frown is. And they just slip down like that. And then you kind of just got to mirror that. Same thing on the other side as well. Like that. And as a result, that makes really good headway for headway for the body. Hmm. Because now we have these two lines that'll help us. And when you have, we already have the chest piece. So we can kind of just approximate and slope down as necessary. We'll add that back spike in with the little red that you would see. And that's the start of the body. Most of the body, I should say. We'll go into the hands now, I guess. So, two cuffs like that. And the little back of the square piece that you would see. The hands are actually tricky, and I actually have a lot of trouble drawing hands, so I'm glad that I could get them this good, but... Kind of like a bowling pin shape for the thumb. And then really easy... Um, finger shapes, I guess. With this little curve here, because we have to show that his hand has some curving to it. Because... The way I drew him, he's kind of charging up or some type of random power that he probably doesn't actually have, but I thought it would look cool for this drawing, so that's what I did. And you can just add, you know, be fancy, whatever with there. So that is one arm hand and weird sphere power thing. And we pretty much do the same thing for the other side with the two curves and then that square in the background. Or in on the back of his glove, uh, pretty much the same for this hand, except just slightly different in terms of position. But the bowling pin shape and those really easy finger shapes. But I kind of just cut it off right there rather than giving it a little uh, curve. Again, kind of just being somewhat original, but you guys can be as creative or uncreative as you want, so. Alright, so that's that. Let's move on to the lower body and the shoes. So we already started this much 
line down, line up and over, another line up. We'll bring that part of the body down, make his tail, which is like a moon pretty much, his shoes square with a little, I don't know, line in them, and then a circle on the end of that. Uh, I drew this line across because he does have those red marks on his, on this part of, I guess, his fur, so. If you guys look at any artwork of Shadow, you'll know what I'm talking about. Same thing on that side. Now, the shoes, I kind of did a little bit more simplistic here. If you can kind of tell, this is a more simplistic picture of Shadow. But, essentially, curve it down, square it off. Just drop completely down from that circle. And what it looks like I did was just a line up, so kind of square shaped, another line coming down like that, up, and that's how I pretty much drew, drew the shoe this time. That one is a little bit different because it's at an angle, so this line still goes down, that still comes at a sloping angle. However, rather than just dropping it off, we have to kind of make it a diagonal this time, rather than just, you know, bring it straight down. And then you can bring that line over, and then again with the diagonal. Using more diagonals to create the depth. Bring that down. And, uh, there we go. That is pretty much... Just have a really light penciling of his name here, so I'll just kind of do that. Sign it. So that is pretty much um, how I super sketched out of the hedgehog, pretty much. I guess I should kind of, I guess I should kind of um, quote super sketch as a term for these videos um, in terms of how I would quick draw a character without using any real artwork. So kind of my original take on a character um, when I'm just sketching them. So Thanks for watching, guys. I do have more episodes in this series. I have to make a playlist for them, but I definitely uh, will do that with this one up, so check out those ones. Thanks for watching, and um, I'm hoping to have another video on, actually, maybe in a couple days, but if not, then definitely check out the video that'll be on the first week of May. So, with that said, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, Finn.